Hi guys, Adam here. I'm outside Old Trafford. I'm with Omar and Zayan. Zayan, Omar, finally back at Old Trafford again. Um, obviously, you've had a few issues with your tickets recently as well. Um, you explain what happened for people that don't really know, because I've been a bit about it on Twitter and stuff like that. Yeah, um, basically what happened was uh, we had, um, uh, we usually go to away uh, Europa Champions League games. Um, and we had some uh, tickets for the uh, Fenerbahce away leg. Um, we had tickets booked, flights booked, uh, accommodation was booked as well. But unfortunately, uh, my wife uh, fell ill uh, a few days before we were supposed to fly out. Um, so obviously we couldn't go uh, because uh, there was no one to look after my daughter. Um, so what happened then was obviously I had already missed the cancellation date to give... Because uh, as it stands, you've got to let the club know if you're not going to go and, and to an away game and, and you're not supposed to be selling the tickets on, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, but the, the, the cancellation date had passed a couple of weeks before the actual scheduled game start date. So then the case was if you miss the game, yeah. you get a ban anyway. On that's right. So I was uh, in a bit of a lose-lose uh, a, a, a situation, whereas if I told... Uh, United and I, I wouldn't have been able to attend the game so I would have got a ban and I'd missed the cancellation date as well um, so I decided to basically uh, put up my uh, tickets for face value because I was all, already losing on my accommodation and, and my uh, flight costs so I decided to put the tickets on uh, on Twitter for face value um, obviously United got a wind of that and uh, they decided to uh, send me a letter and um, Zian letter saying that uh, they were going to ban us for uh, three years home and away. Now that ban has been decreased um, and reduced after after an appeal but it's kind of a, a warning to fans and United fans out there that the club are, are, are kind of taking a harsh stance against people that are maybe giving a ticket to a friend or selling a ticket on to, to, to other match going United fans. Yeah, um, especially, um, well, my advice uh, would be um, uh, don't do not do it because we, we've, uh, especially Zian, he enjoys coming to, to every game as you, as you probably know. Moscow, yeah. Eindhoven, like literally all over the place with you guys, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so the last four, four weeks have been uh, a pretty much downer for us because obviously we've not been able to attend the games and just, just watch them. Uh, on TV locally and, uh, and that's it basically so um, you know they, they were very harsh we appealed the first appeal was unsuccessful we appealed again uh, and then you know that, that went to the appeals panel and you know they saw the appeal letter they saw the tickets that, that I'd submitted as part of evidence along with the doctor's letter so you know I'm glad they came to their senses that you know we're, we're, we're not actually touts because that's what they were <laughs> he's they were a tout <laughs> you've been touting you've been touting Zayn. no <laughs> so you nearly lost a couple of grand's worth of season tickets that's right yeah. but now you have got the tickets back you're just still banned for a year from away games is that right yeah that's right we've got um, a, a 12 month away ban instead uh, which is uh, some sort of uh, well uh, you know it's better than a three-year ban that we were originally uh, you find it harsh though that an eight-year-old or nine-year-old is being banned for a year from away games because of that yeah i mean you know the way the line that the club was taking was that we with, with do you feel now. do you feel responsible or do you feel unfairly treated? Like, do you think the club have treated you properly or? If if the club make it clear that if you can't go to a game, even if it's last minute, you can contact the club and there'll be no you know repercussions against you. Then then you know if they make that clear, then that's it's not an issue. You know we, you know whoever can't attend the game can do that. But in this situation, they set a date for when we could cancel the tickets, and they also said that if we didn't turn up, we would get a ban as well. So, you know, do you, do you think this shows because we know what particularly away day culture is like in terms of the way fans are pass pass tickets and the way tickets are passed around and. You still find that some touts and execs will get tickets, but the fans are really punished at a lower level than the fans that go to go week in, week out to these games. Do you think then that's a, the, the club are out of touch with the way fans are, do you think? Yeah, it's sort of a, a, a two-tier two system, isn't it, really? Whereas if you're executive, you can do what you want, patch your tickets off. 
and if you you know if you just Joe blogs off the off, off the street then you know you, you've got you've got no room for movement you know and if if, if like I said, if if the club made it easier for fans to approach them if there's an issue, then then you know there's no reason then is there to 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 not inform the club that you can't go or anything like that. And we have spoken to MUST about this as well. Check out the video, which which should be up already. We spoke about to MUST about the same issue, um, and it just seems the club are out of touch. Now I understand why they would try and stop Touch from getting their hands on tickets, but punishing people like yourself and Zayan seems a bit silly to me. Anyway, Zayan, moving on from that, um, you went to the game today, you're back at Old Trafford and three points again. Yeah, it was a good performance today. All the players did well, but we, we scored three brilliant goals, especially Mkhitaryan's. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic needs to take his chances because if we can see goals like we did today, we our goal difference gets lowered. And if we score a lot, it it won't matter that much because yeah. remember last year we were level on points with City but it was the goal difference the goal difference matters a lot I think we need to stay t start taking our chance who, who 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 played well for you today I think Pogba did well with his passes and I also think that Jesse Lingard did all right today and Juan Mata but my the best player I thought so far what on the right wing was um, Antonio Valencia. It was the only player on that wing that was support was on that wing, and he was always there, and he was defending and attacking. And if if he has support, he'll look better player. And if then if teams notice that he's forward, then they can ping it over, and then we're exposed. Do you mean very true? Very true. Um, Paul Pogba was your man of the match. 3-1 today. Um, how do you feel going into the new year? I feel very confident because we're 11 games unbeaten and we're doing really well. We're, we're keeping strong at the back, only conceding one goal or or less. And But them goals at the end, like against Arsenal, against Everton, could cost us some points and at the end of the year if we don't get top four and we're looking back we it, we could easily think that we could have got if we kept if we kept you don't want to have no regrets right is what you're trying to say yeah cheers Zayam. thank you very much yeah cheers man